Good evening, this is Faith from Fireside Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Taurus tonight for the second half of April. I'm so pleased that you could join us this evening. I'm drinking hot cocoa and listening to some interesting high vibrational music. It's getting close to bedtime. going to chill out and read some cards for Taurus. Just reading away for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, which it will not resonate with every Taurus, that's fine. Feel free to just completely throw the reading out all together and pretend you never saw it. Or check your moon rising and Venus sign readings. Whatever you want to do. I'm not going to twist your arm. You can't make a Taurus do anything they don't want to do. I have found that out the hard way. My older brother is a Taurus, so I spent 12 years with him. I'm just saying. I know how you operate. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can may be vice versa. and may play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And if you're a cross-watcher coming to check us out, you're welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. Brew a pot of coffee. We'll eat scones. It'll be a good time. I don't eat while I'm on camera, though. That's just weird. Okay. Good grief, that phone has got to stop. Taurus, why are you here? Temperance. That's positive energy flow. Patience. Could be Sagittarius you're dealing with. That's good vibes. I like it. What do you think about... The, oh, sorry. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Taurus? Death in the reverse. Okay. What do you think of them? Knave of swords in the reverse. So the page of swords. What do you want from them? Ten of wands. Okay. You feel like they're never going to change. You think they're very quiet or they're not a very strong communicator. And you want them to release a burden. You want them to get something off the chest. Hmm. Okay, well, how do they feel about you? Three of Cups, what do they think of you? Two of Wands reversed. What do they want from you? Star card. Okay. We have to get some clarity on that Three of Cups. It's a card of reunion, it's a card of celebration. It's a card of friendship. It's also a third party card. And I don't think we want any third parties involved, do we? We're going to get some clarity on that. <sighs> Two of Wands reverse. They may think you're having a hard time letting something go and moving forward from something. What do they want from you? The star card is the healing card. It's the card that pops up after you've been through some stuff. Possibly they want you to heal from what you've been through. What's the challenge here? 
Ten of Swords. I think you're both going through some stuff. I think you've both been through some stuff. And the sun's finally coming out for both of you. But you're both... You're dealing with a lot of pain. I, I like to call this the baggage card. I think y'all's baggage is the challenge. What needs to be done? Two of Pentacles reversed. Gonna have to get some clarity on that. Potential outcome. The Empress. This is freaking beautiful. This is the growth card. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can we get some clarity on the cards and the table for Taurus today, please? And then I think I'm going to do a personal one and go to bed. Because tomorrow's Good Friday and I will not be touching my cards at all tomorrow. Sorry, guys. As some of the subscribers who have been around a while know, I was raised Christian, and tomorrow is one of the High Holy Days, and there are a few handful of High Holy Days every year I will not touch my cards. And I'm going to leave it at that. reversed. Hmm. I think you're both disconnecting from something that just didn't work out. You're finally regaining your balance. You finally found patience with the universe. Things are starting to flow properly. Energies are starting to flow properly. Can I get some clarity on the death card, please? One card for Taurus. Ah! Two of them came out. I'll take them. Eight of Pentacles in the upright, Sun in the upright. They could feel like that you're not very accepting of change. I thought I heard water running. They feel like you're a hard worker. Sorry, you feel like... I am jacking this all up tonight. You feel like they are not accepting of change. Like they missed a spiritual metamorphosis somehow. You feel like they're a hard worker. And you feel like that there's a definite connection between you with the sun card possibly be a Tor um, Leo. Could possibly be a Leo. I also have Taurus. I have Aquarius. Sagittarius. Can I get clarity? Can I get clarity on the Knave of Swords, please? Judgment reversed. Okay. You think there's something they're not talking about or they're not speaking about? This could possibly be something they failed to resurrect in the past, something that didn't work out. One more just to even the energy out. Death reversed. There it is again. 
something that failed to change, something that failed to metamorphosize, something that they couldn't change. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What do they got to get off their chest? You feel like they need to get something off their chest. Okay. The Tower and the King of Swords. The Tower is reversed. Honesty. Truth. Getting something off one's chest. Releasing a burden. Rebuilding a tower. You want to help them rebuild. And I think at the same time, you want to build a life with them. You want to build an honest relationship. That is amazing. Why is it Three of Cups here for how they feel about you? The Hermit. They see you as a light under their path. They think you're a wonderful person. I think they th think of you as a dear friend. You possibly put them in a celebratory kind of mood. No, no, no. I kicked those out. They didn't fall. Get back in there. Strength. Another Leo card. You give them strength. Why is strength there? Ten of swords reversed. You're still going through something and they can feel it. I think you marry each other a lot. I think they see a little bit of themselves in you. Why is two of wands reversed here? For what the other person thinks of Taurus. Hi! The star card and the three of swords reversed. They think you are still healing. You have not totally let something go. You haven't totally let go of a heartbreak. You're still processing a heartbreak. You're not through it yet. Wow. You guys are mirroring each other. This is like two peas in a pod. This is great. I'm just saying. This is great. Why is the star card here for what the other person wants from Taurus? Why is the star card here? Page of Cups reversed. Okay. Six of Cups. They don't want the same old, same old. They want to heal. They want to make happy memories with you. They don't want it to just be words. Knight of Cups. 
It's not exactly committal energy, but... They want to fill your cup. They want to make it better. They want to help you heal. That's... That's freaking beautiful. That's beautiful, Taurus. I like it. I like it a lot. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for the challenge? Knight of Wands reversed. Getting through that pain, letting the sun shine again. Getting to the point of being committal. That's the challenge. Hi! <laughs> A five of wands. Getting to a point where not everything has to be an argument. Sorry, I'm getting a catch in my throat. Allowing the sun, the sun to shine again for both of you without confrontation. The Knight of Wands is the, kind of the playboy of the tarot, so... I hesitate to say this, but what the hell I'm going to say it. Not putting the sex band-aid on your wounds. You guys want more than that. I think you both want more than that. And that's part of the challenge. Is not ruining the connection. Well, what needs to be done? Two of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Swords. Okay. I think that's understanding your emotions. Separating what emotions you feel about the last person versus the emotions you feel about the person you're dealing with currently. Don't intermingle them. Don't let them mix. Don't destroy what could be a beautiful, stable thing. Because of the thoughts buzzing up around in your head. Communicating. Getting to know. Yeah, the Knight of Swords is kind of, you know, the spy. Not sure why the Eight of Cups just flew out. Because it flew out without intention. I'm going to put it up here. What was I talking about? Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is like the Sherlock Holmes. He's, you know, spying on the social media. Yeah. He's putting little bugs in your ear. It's the he said, she said crap. Actually sit down and get to know the person you're dealing with. Don't make assumptions based on what you've heard from other people. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here for the potential outcome? Page of Pentacles.
Oh my gosh, it just hit me. This has to go here. This just split the story. I don't know why you guys always do this to me. You always you guys always get a freaking split story. This may be a comeback around scenario. This could very well be. Something that didn't work out at first. Once you guys got through your heartbreak and dealing with your stuff, this could be a comeback around with potential for growth and prosperity and wonderfulness. But it's a matter of getting to know each other again. But I think you both definitely need to heal before you jump into anything serious. I mean, there's great potential here. But you guys need to work on your stuff. Whether you want to do that together or separately, that's all on you. It's not me. I can't tell you what to do. I just read the cards. All right. Ten of Wands. Eventually, you have to lay this burden down. You can't carry it anymore. Ace of Cups. Once you lay your burdens down, this has a wonderful potential to be something wonderful and new and great. Here's the Fool. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. New ventures, new paths. One more in this Wheel of Fortune. Ah, there it is. There it is. I like it, Taurus. To come back around. Something solid and stable. Something to celebrate. I like it. Taurus, I'm happy for you. This is beautiful. Looks like you guys are going to have a bright, sunshiny second half of April. You just got to get through your stuff. You gotta release your burdens, get the stuff off your chest. If it's somebody you haven't been kicking it with in a while, talk. If it's somebody new and interesting and you're both dealing with some stuff, deal with your stuff. Don't throw a relationship out the window because you're afraid. And at the same time, don't carry your baggage into another relationship. Because you're just inevitably going to end up with more baggage. Nobody likes baggage. Especially the emotional kind. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Taurus. Is it possible to have a favorite earth sign? I don't know. You guys are great, though. You guys are always very supportive. Give it a like. Share if you feel like you have a friend who might need to see this. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. But thanks for stopping by. If you're in need of a personal reading, I do do that. And other than the one I have slated right now, I'm actually wide open again. So, Because I've been reading my butt off with all this free time I have. Thanks for coming by. I love you, and I'll catch you later.